Hello guys, my name is David from Excel and for this week's breakdown video we're gonna jump into uh, kinetic chains and in particular the close versus the open kinetic chain. So let's dive into this breakdown video. So what we want with this movement is a violent hip extension accompanied by a upward pull. Okay guys, so in basic principles, the difference between the closed and the open kinetic chain lies in that the point that is furthest away from the body and which you use is uh, fixated or open. So translating this in uh, CrossFit words, if we have a, uh, a push-up, which our hands are on the floor, uh, as you're seeing right now in this video, um, and the floor does not move, if you're in a, a good country, the floor does not move, that would be a closed kinetic chain. So from the uh, feet till the hands, the whole point, so the four points or the two points, are fixated and not moving. Uh, if you would go into a, a dumbbell bench press, you basically have the same movement, so a horizontal push, but now we have an open kinetic chain, meaning that the dumbbells are uh, open for movement, they can go in multiple directions, and we don't uh, have our hands fixated onto a, a point. So the dumbbells, they, they can move in each direction that we would want them to move in. So now we know that with a closed kinetic chain, our hands or our feet are fixated and with a open kinetic chain our hands are not fixated. We can think of exercises that, are, that we could uh, get into the closed kinetic chain list or in the open kinetic chain list. Think about the, uh, the muscle up on the bar or the muscle up on the rings. Of course, it's not fully open or closed kinetic chain. So for the muscle up, it is a, uh, a closed kinetic chain. The hands are, are on the bar and you move your body around it. But with the rings, it's a bit of, of both. Uh, the rings are still a bit loose, so they allow for more movement, but still you move your body around the, the, the rings. Um, so it's still basically a closed kinetic chain. If we would go into this with facts, then the uh, closed kinetic chain exercises would be stuff like push-ups, uh, handstand push-ups, uh, squats, uh, we would have burpees, basically we would have the sled push uh, and more exercises like that. Uh, the open kinetic chain list would consist of exercises like the dumbbell strict press, dumbbell rows, the clean, the snatch, the split jerk, all movements where we would uh, move a object uh, and our hands or our limbs are not fixated onto a point. So what we find with the open kinetic chain exercises is that it's uh, really easy to uh, trigger specific muscles uh, in order to fix uh, certain imbalances uh, inside the body. So one thing we also find with the open kinetic chain exercises it's, uh, is that it's easier to notice any compensations uh, inside the movement. So with a bench press or a strict press we would see uh, the bar going side to side or not evenly going upwards uh, but with a handstand push-up or with a dip it's uh, more difficult to see it and you would uh, notice it only by looking at the uh, scapulas or maybe the body moving uh, diagonally upwards. So with a uh, open kinetic chain exercise it's way easier to notice because the weights just don't move at the same time going upwards and with the closed kinetic chain exercises uh, the body will uh, first move unbalanced and then you will notice it after the compositions are already into that individual's system and they've learned to move uh, in that specific way. So now knowing both the open and the closed kinetic chain, um, you could play with both ends of the spectrum. 
Um, so with a handstand push-up, if you're not able to do it, you could try doing strict presses and push presses and get back after a few weeks and try the handstand push-up again. Uh, and you will notice that it will be way easier to do it. But you do need to understand that the handstand push-up uh, on it, uh, itself is a skill. So the closed kinetic chain exercise, if you want to get better at that, you should be doing closed kinetic chain exercises. The open kinetic chain exercises can supplement the closed one, but if you're only needing to do the closed kinetic chain exercises, that's your main function. That should be a big focus in your training and the open kinetic chain should be a supplementary function to the basic uh, head function of your, your sport. So the open kinetic chain uh, would basically be to keep injury from happening. So like a prehab type of training. So guys, if you like this video, please let us know in the comments, subscribe on our channel, and I hope to see you next time with a new video.